Greetings viewers and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be reviewing and tearing down the K-Line Technologies Isolated Output Pedal Power Supply Model CP202. A quick unboxing, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the power supply brick itself and then the wall adapter which is actually a much heavier version uh, than I've seen in some of their other pedals. This is actually an 18 volts and two amps. I can't really focus on it too well, but it is much heavier uh, and heavier duty because these actually have some high current outputs, more than a few. And over here, you're also going to get some wire adapters. It comes inside this box. And then you get your manual, which it is very brief, but it is informative to discuss the main features of this pedal, which we'll go over here in this video. Here's a picture of the main unit. We have two 300 milliamp outputs here, and we have two variable outputs here, one at 100 milliamps and one at 500, but you can actually adjust the voltage with the switches behind here. You can set it to whatever you need based on the pedal's specifications. And very similar, in fact, the same as some of their other pedals. You, the power incoming power from the wall comes in here, and then all these outputs here will turn blue when there is a connector inserted into the output plug and it will go out in the case of a short circuit. Taking the cover off, we can just have a quick peek inside. The board is from July 23rd, 2020. And you can see that the isolation transformers are right here. They're significantly larger than say the 206, 207, or the DC-10 that I've reviewed in the past. You can see where it's a very clean layout of the IC design there. And again, it's pretty much the same type of circuit where the incoming power comes in, changes it from DC to AC, goes through these isolation transformers, and then the isolated power will then run all these linear voltage regulators. And for those two particular adjustable outputs, you can actually see on the other side of this board here, if we take it apart, it's quite complex. Actually, we'll just flip it up this way. The way that they're doing it for the switches, they're using a very simple and actually very common buck, a DC to DC buck converter. There's two of them here, and that's how they're basically getting, say, the 18 volts of isolated, and then it will be adjusted down to whatever voltage those switches are set to. Inside, you can see a lot of more circuit design here. There's your load series resistors in the case of a short circuit. In case you short it out, then all that power is going to go to these resistors without destroying the rest of the circuit. You see all the other capacitors, some diodes to rectify. You see some inductors here to get rid of all the noise. And then up here is the switching circuitry that converts the incoming DC over to AC to run through the isolation transformer. So the same circuit as I've seen in a lot of their pedal designs, but this one is, is set up for a slightly higher output for amperage. Normally you'd see only about 100 milliamps for a lot of their outputs, but they've added in a couple high current ones in this particular model. This is one of the newer models from K-Line, the CP202, and what I'm happy to report is that we have an individual winding for each one of these outputs, which that means that each has their own isolated ground. They are not connected to each other or ganged in pairs or anything like that. This is definitely I believe because of those larger transformers inside because you need them for the higher amperage output here on these stages and then also you have the bigger physical size to add more windings to it. So each one of these outputs has their own separate winding. Everything is completely isolated. In addition to the isolation that you get from those transformers, the wall power comes in, it gets converted to, from DC to AC coming in, and then each of the secondary windings goes to these output stages with their linear voltage regulators and you have all the other noise suppression components inside very well built and while not as many outputs as some of their models this is definitely a significant improvement in terms of 
true isolation. So very happy to see that. Well, guys, I don't think there's much more I need to say on this. I've gone through a lot of the nitty-gritty details on uh, other reviews of their power supplies. The circuit design is essentially the same, but with the added benefit of this one having lar larger transformers for the output uh, amperage, and also you have a separate winding for each one of these output stages, which is very significant. And it really does feel a little bit heavier, and then you get the higher amperage wall adapter. I think uh, this is definitely an improvement, so very happy to see it. If you're interested in some of the more nitty-gritty details on how the circuit is actually working, feel free to check out some of my other videos. And if you guys actually own this power supply, if you're having a problem with it or any further questions, leave a comment below. Let me know what your setup is, and I'll do my best to answer it if there's a problem. Keyline is very good at getting back to their customers with their email and their contact info in the description below. And again, if there's any problems that I could try to assist you with, please feel free to reach out. Uh, this is definitely uh, a very good power supply, in my opinion. I would highly recommend it. And that's great. So till the next video, guys, and thank you so much for watching.